Hi guys, I want to talk to you for a minute about finding um, letters of recommendation. So when um, it, there's a number of different types of letters of recommendation, and um, you might be looking for a letter of recommendation when you need to apply for college, and you might need to get letters of re uh, recommendation from your teachers to send to the college so that the college understands that you have people that can verify that you can meet the requirements for college. You might need letters of recommendation when you apply for scholarships. You might need a letter of recommendation just for applying for any kind of job. So there's a lot of different types of letters of recommendation. Um, if we were in the classroom, we would be having you actually go out and get two to three letters of recommendation from different people in your life. When you're applying for jobs, um, it's always a good idea to get letters of recommendation from people from different areas of your life. So maybe you get one from a teacher, maybe you get one from um, a, a previous employer, someone who you've worked for in the past, maybe someone you've done babysitting for, or maybe someone at Bishop's where you worked at Bishop's Pumpkin Farm. Um, you might want to think about getting letters of recommendation from different people that you volunteered with and uh, worked with through volunteer work. But you want to get those letters from different types of people in your life. You don't want them all to come from teachers or all to come from um, one employer that you've had in the past. So, um, we're not going to be having you get letters of recommendation this year, but next year in your sophomore year, you will be um, assigned to get some letters of recommendation from people. Now, keep in mind that as you're in high school, you're creating relationships with adults who can then verify and speak to the fact that you have skills and abilities that are employable. You want to make sure that your conduct in the classroom um, and on campus is the type of conduct and behavior that adults will say, yes, this is a responsible young adult who uh, has shown that they have employable skills. So you're building a reputation from the very beginning of your freshman year. Um, you're building a reputation that can affect your ability and opportunities to get employment. So um, one of the things that we're going to have available to you over the next couple of years is what we call a letter of recommendation request form. So when you're going out to look for letters of recommendation, you're going to ask somebody um, if they would be willing to write you a letter of recommendation. And they might ask, what is this letter of recommendation for? You're going to need to be specific. Uh, either it's for a college application or it's for um, uh, general employment purposes. Maybe you're just ready to start looking for any job as your first job. Um, so you're just looking for general employment um, purposes. Or maybe there's a specific job that you're applying to and um, you need a letter of recommendation that will help speak to your abilities to do that specific job. So one of the things that I've discovered is that it's very handy if you fill out this request form with your information about you, and then you hand it to the person that you're asking for a letter of recommendation for, now they might not know what this form is, they might not understand what this form is, but you can say, I have this form that I filled out with some information about myself that might help you write a letter of recommendation for me. Um, and so we just want to talk through this form so that you're familiar with it and um, so that next year when we go into it in more detail in your sophomore classes um, that you understand uh, what it's about and how to use it to get that letter of recommendation. So you would put your name here in student name. Okay, you would check off what is this letter of recommendation needed for? Is it needed for a college application, scholarship? What type of scholarship uh, is, is the, the scholarship for? Maybe you're checking off that this letter of recommendation is just for general employment purpose, purposes or specific employment purposes. If it's for a specific job, you wanna list the name of the company and the position that you're applying for. 
you want to let the person know what date you need that letter of recommendation. You always want to ask for that letter of recommendation seven to 14 days before you need to turn it in. And you need to go get it from the person who's writing it from you. You don't make them chase you down for it. You're going to want to tell the person writing the letter for you what your overall career goals are. Now, you may have an English teacher that you know you want to use and you want, you want to get a letter of recommendation for, but they might not understand what your ultimate career goals are. So it's a good idea to just put a sentence or two here about what your career goals are. Then you want to put down, what do you think your skills and abilities are? Um, you're letting the person know, these are the things I think I'm good at, and they can write the letter to, to verify that you are good at these things. It's a good idea to let the person know what your GPA is. If you've taken any AP, advanced placement subjects, and if you've taken any AP scores, what you got. Any other test scores, PSAT, ACT, SAT, uh, or ASVAB. ASVAB is the military placement um, assessment. Talk about what your favorite class is and why it's your favorite class. That will help the person who's writing your letter of recommendation understand what your passions are and what, what you enjoy. You're also going to want to list any of these things that you're involved in. Student government clubs. If you're an officer in a club, you want to list that. Performing arts, if you're uh, in music or drama, any sports. Have you received any recognitions? Um, maybe high GPA, uh, honor rolls kind of things. Any awards or honors, those DEPR awards, you want to list those here. Any leadership positions that you've held, any volunteer work, and any other information that might be handy. Now, I really suggest that you print this out if you have the ability to and fill it in um, and just to practice filling it in. Um, it's not going to be due. We're not going to uh, have this as an assignment, but it's a really good practice for you to prepare to ask for letters of recommendation. Um, so you would fill this out and you would take it to one of your teachers and you would say, I'm look I, I need to get a letter of recommendation for a job that I'm looking to apply to. If I give you this information, would you be able to write this letter of recommendation for me? And of course your teacher is going to say, I would love to, when do you need it by? And then you would say, well, I need it by Tuesday of next week. Would it be okay if I pick, came by and picked it up then? And um, that would be the perfect way to handle that. Now, the day before Tuesday, you might want to send that teacher a message and you might say, um, you know, I'm, I'm just checking, would it be okay if I came by at three o'clock or whatever time to pick up that letter of recommendation tomorrow? Now, if the person forgot to write it, they're going to say, oh no, can you give me another day or two? And you just make that arrangement to pick it up. Um, so that is how you get a letter of recommendation. I always suggest that you make photocopies of the letter that the person wrote for you and you keep the original and you give copies to the people that you're applying with. That way you have those originals that you can go back to and photocopy um, for other job applications if you need to. So that is the basics of getting a letter of recommendation. Uh, enjoy your day and uh, make sure that you did your job application in my tenure plan. Make sure that you did your cover letter and you're submitting that to Google Classroom and enjoy the rest of your week. Remember, Zoom's always better when you're here.